Of in the world, the GSL Code S. All right, in the upper right. He lost that first game. He did the same strat he did to win the first series. What is he going to do this time? I have no idea. We'll see soon. He is... Genius. Currently teamless, although I can't imagine that's going to last very long. Mm -hmm. Kind of lone wolfing it for now. And in the bottom left, the only non-Korean here in the GSL Code S. He got top eight last season. Can he get top eight at least again? He is... Well, if he hits another top eight man, and then we go into best of fives, he lost to the champion last season in the round of eight. Okay, he lost MVP, and MVP cheesed him a whole bunch. I think Nanowa learned a lot from that. And I really want to see how well he can perform if he's in another top eight. You know, these groups are a little bit more random. They're harder to prepare for. You have a lot of players to prepare for. But if it's just a single best of five against a single opponent, can Nanawa bring it this time and maybe get a top four and maybe, hell man, maybe a finals. I would love to see Nanawa in the finals. Yeah, I would too. It's funny too because in, in uh, what was it, last season, uh, he was cheesed out by MVP. Yeah. Um, and then this time he got cheesed out by um, by Genius, uh, obviously we saw early on here. But, I, you know, will, will this be a series where there won't be any cheeses from Genius or anybody else, you know? Uh, Nanny Watt basically huh. doesn't cheese. I've seen, I can think, of, I think of like maybe one game that he cheesed in. Yeah, he doesn't cheese too often. It's, that's for sure. Um, he prefers timings and tight builds and stuff like that. Uh, but you know what? The, Sasa and Nanny Watt at this point are becoming gods. They are like, yeah. actually, they are tip top of the world level. We saw Sase at MLG finishing unbelievably high. He got the highest out of all the corners. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. He even took out Stefano and stuff. And I mean, both these guys did very well at DreamHack. Uh, Sase, not yet with a big tournament win, so hasn't been able to like get a seed into Code S yet. Uh, but you know what? Next time that he gets a seed or gets through the qualifier, he's going to be someone to look out for as well. And, and he's been somebody who's been coming down here a lot and supporting Nanawa. They're actually very good yeah. friends. With actually pretty different play styles, at least. To, from yeah, what, from I would what say I've completely seen. different. Uh, yeah. I mean, they're both, they both both have very similar strengths. But look at this. Nanoa scouting in his base. Genius had sent down an early probe. Nanoa found it. Uh, that is actually great for Nanoa because that's a lot of lost mind time for Genius that actually won't turn into anything. And he saved up a ton of Chrono Boost. Uh, I think he was just going to do a warp gate rush on him. Great thing that for Nanoa that he had that scout, uh, that... Scout pattern built into Well, I think he sort of figured out, okay, you cheesed me in the first game. And then, you know what? Like, I don't think he... I think Nana was confident that Genius can't beat him unless he cheeses in at least one of these games. Yeah, he might be. And otherwise, you know, it's it's, uh, it's tough to say. It's 50-50. Mm -hmm. well, Genius, nice, nice uh, decision. Just going to go ahead and go Nexus first. And, yeah, he's... Genius off a of one-gate Nexus. That's, like, really quick. Can be risky, but... Nanawa is actually going for a very late second gate and going for Twilight Council. And Genius basically scouted that. He didn't scout the Twilight Council, but he saw that, okay, you're, I mean, you're staying low on units right now. You're definitely teching up. So I feel like I can get away with this. Now, will it just be a blink rush? Mm, hard to say. Yeah, it is. Blink, it is. Yeah, there you go. All right. So uh, Nanawa has some of the best blink micro. It's really he superb. absolutely does. Robo uh, facility. Now he's he's going to need to have immortals here. Yeah. Now most asaply. Indeed, he's going to. Uh, and if he gets them out, he's going to be in good shape. But Nanoa is not going for like blink ops. So this is definitely something that is foldable. Oh wait, Nanoa is going for blink ops. Yeah, he's much the later out. on the ops. That is actually Nanoa blink ops style. He always goes for Twilight before Robo when he goes for this build. All right, this is, uh, we're just going to kind of have to wait and, yeah. uh, until this action actually picks up. Yeah, there's not a ton else to say right now, guys. We are just sort of watching and holding our breath. Mm -hmm. Now, Blink's almost done, um, and the Robo's almost done, so we'll Chrono Boost out an Observer after this. 
Is this a good way to go blink ops? I feel like they have the more they have more immortals out by now when you get there. Uh, is, it, is it safer no, if you could attack or something? Well, you know, with the blink, there are certain situations that it helps to get that so early on. Uh, you know, getting they the observer so quickly, something. they can figure out what you're doing pretty quickly as well. Uh, and I mean, this timing is safe against most DT rushes and all that. So it's just it's a stylistic thing. It hasn't been proven to be worse or better. It just has like a slight different feel to it. Yeah, and looks like uh, Genius now going to check. Aha! Pylon. Whoop! What? I guess he's afraid that he might have stalkers already out there that'll hit him. Well, it looks like he's going to bring uh, his immortal down to try to take that out very quickly. And that's going to be very annoying for Nano off. Is he going to get that before that actually yeah, put his oh, oh, my God, that was close. Things are happening after things die today. Remember that force field? That, yeah. ha that happened. That thing was dead in a ghost cast of surreal, force field. Ghost man. Uh, the ghost of that sentry is for real, for real. All right, now does he blink in? Now he should see. Well, I guess he could. Oh, because you can see the stalkers. Oh, wow. Caught catching Genius off guard. Getting and the sentries take out now. Two sentries. That's huge. But the, oh, the observer got taken out. Great move by Genius there. And in Whoa. fact, then all decides, well, I'm not going to leave here right now. Wow. Really nice stuff there. But, oh, no. He just targeted a pile, and that's, that hurts. And now he's going to force field that ramp. Whoa. Very well done. And now with force fields. He actually can just keep those up there. He has to force you to that same spot that where some are going to jump out. All right, he's going to wait to the last Bam! second. There he goes. Down it goes. Yeah, he's. Uh, this is great for Nano. In fact, he has another force field right this second. And he's going to get that up right now. So well done. Just trying is he to actually going to get out. this Nexus in time? I don't think he can. I think he actually has to pull out. Uh, does he have one more force no. field? No, he's at 45 energy. Just barely isn't going to have it. Like, just, just barely. That's so it shows how good Nano is that he's like, nope. Wait a minute. I don't quite have enough. Now right. he's going to get the sentry. Well, he killed eight probes there. Pretty decent. Uh, that, But that actually still genius has more probes. So, uh, you know what? It it looked like he was going to be able to take out the Nexus for a moment. But if he had realized, okay, this Nexus is actually not going to go down, he could have focused much more, more probes. probes. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right. Uh, is he going to go for another blink in the main? I don't think we have an observer over there. Well, up comes the uh, Stalkers once again. Just wants to get some damage done. Just taking a little bit of damage on his units for killing a little bit here and there. So yeah, anything you can do coming. to hurt him. Note that uh, Genius was really smart. Didn't make any pylons around the edge of his base. Whenever you do fast expand builds, don't put the pylons on the corners of your base. Stalkers with observers yeah. just look <laughs> up there and kill your stuff. Certainly. All right, and he's in the main now. Genius going to come down very quickly. In fact, if he can pick up that observer again, that's going to be very annoying for now. In fact, he's going to lose it. Oh, uh, Nanny, you need to have that observer on a second hotkey. Yeah. And maybe he had it and just didn't move it, but still. Yeah, you have to be so careful. That's like the crux of it. Oh, he got a force field over here. Oh, he did, in fact. And he has another force field. There you go. Very well done. He's going to at least take out some more probes. So Nanny's still getting some stuff done. All right, the sentry will be taken out, but Naniwa's trying to chip away at his opponent. Now, this, this is, is a pretty... situation that actually Blink counters Blink. Because, you know, the fact that Naniwa continues to make stalkers, continues to be aggressive with them, uh, Genius going to go with his own Blink and then try to catch these stalkers. If these stalkers Blink one time wrong, not knowing that the other stalkers have Blink, they might all die. And that would be huge. But Naniwa is getting a Colossus behind this. So that Colossus is going to be pretty helpful. Um, well, let's see here. A little he bit does have Blink now. Uh-oh, now he needs to book it. He's not going to show Blink yet. Oh, he showed Blink. All right, uh, he's chasing him down now. He, then he will Blink away any second now. Try to get closer and closer here to the Colossi. It looks like, actually, uh, Genius wants to try to commit here. He has a pylon coming in here. Oh, no, there's man. A, three there's, immortals to one Colossus there's is not a, a good ratio. He only has one sentry. This is actually this is going to be rough for Nanoa to actually hold. He does not have Colossus range. He only has one sentry. And with only one sentry, you can't keep these zealots or immortals away from you. He can only cast one force field or use one guardian shield right now. That's up to him. But is Genius going to go for it? Will he blink into the main? It's hard to say. He, he does, does have, have enough a, stalkers. Yeah. He can actually do that and win the fight. Absolutely. I think could. he's going to do it. See? Right? Uh, <laughs> it's very hard to decide. Okay, what to do right here now. we go. 
Oh, that's our... Ooh, and he actually is going to blink up there. Trying to take out this Robo. He might be able to actually get it, but he's going to lose some Stalkers in the process. I guess not, actually. <laughs> Very good move. And now Nanawa is stuck on just two Colossi, but he has still gotten Thermal Lance. Rebuilding his Robo. Forge and Robo now. And Genius is actually getting a Colossus and going a second Robo right now. So he's actually... Wow, look at this. Catching this little counterattack. And Genius actually just hit his sentries, by the way. Those Zalts were walking Smart. up and he hit the sentries. Very interesting. So both players are going to be going double Robo Colossi at this point. Loving and this PvP, by the way. These yeah, guys are so good. This looks like it's going to go long again. I, it's going to be hard for these guys to actually kill each other just with the timings of their units right now. Uh, Genius... Yeah, it looks like Nanawa might just stay ever so slightly ahead in Colossi, but that means if Genius just stays on the defensive, Nanawa can't really kill him unless he gets out of position again. And on this map, I'd say it's a bit harder to get out of position, for sure. Uh, well, if you get a contain up on him, it's really hard for them to deal with. Oh, you know? certainly. It's, it's so hard to break out, which uh, there are... There have been PvPs where, uh, you know, like let's say Nanoa takes the center and just has a lot of Colossi up there and everything's spread out very well. He can actually take his fourth base. And then it, I mean, it, it'll become Genius's problem to try to break that. But anyways, looks like we're actually going to have him do a little attack here. And yeah, Thermal Lance is not done for Genius, so this is actually one timing that could work. And look, it, you can see Nanoa's going to check for it here. You say, wait a minute, wait a minute, you don't have... Yeah, he doesn't have range of that. Me. Uh, Thermal Lance is going to finish pretty soon here. He's chrono boosting like a madman. All right, looks like he may attack in here now. Stalker counts are basically the same right now. Two, two Colossi against two Colossi. All right, same he's zealots. bruising this army over here. Oh my god, he could actually just blinked up there, but instead. Oh, oh. All right, and going for this nice Colossus blink over up. Here. Nanawa sniping a Colossus instantly. A lot of zealots everywhere. Hard to tell exactly what's going on, but Genius is uh, too close. I doing a great job right now. Yep. Now he does have some. Uh, let's hear some zealots hitting these uh, stalkers. This kind of wonky position over here. And uh, I don't actually know Artosis. It looks like really the Immortals and the Colossi on. actually lived through that. Yeah. And now that he has two Colossi and Nanawa only has one right here coming up. Let's see what he can actually do. These zealots are doing a great job. He's going to blink up, try to target on Colossi. And is he going to get it? But these well, three immortals are going to punish him. He's got to be so careful about those three immortals. Those things still have uh, a lot of hardened shield left and everything. And now Nanawa's way down in supply. Look at that. And Genius actually has his third Nexus done. Yeah, we didn't even wow. notice that. Nanawa's attack actually ending up being a failure. He's down by a lot of supply right now. These guys both micro-ing their hearts out right now. They both so badly want to go into the round of eight. Yeah, they really do. Now, let's see here. Yeah, where do we go from here? Well, Genius, uh, he knows he's in a good spot. He's warping a lot more units. He doesn't have charge, but he is getting plus two. So I feel like charge is the next move for Genius here. You know, with charge, he's going to be able to close on everything so much quicker than Nanawa is able to. Nice denying that uh, pylon. I don't think there's another probe with that army either. Yeah. Um, but you know what? With his Colossi count, looks like he wants to press his advantage now. He's got a very nice Colossi count going on. Nanoa trying to push out a little bit more with his Blink Stalkers. Nanoa's kind of all in at this point. I mean, he's yeah. he doesn't have anything going on for him at all. Genius, though, with that third base. And he's actually getting his Templar Archives. Yeah, this. I mean, even though the supplies aren't too far away, the extra base and the extra Colossi count for Genius gives him a near unlosable position here. Nanawa's really going to have to catch him out off guard. And look at that income. Such in the favor of Genius. Yeah, you know, I, I think it's going to be up to a bad engagement from Genius uh, for Nanawa to win this. I don't... You know what I'm saying? I don't know mm. what exactly he can do beyond this. I, Genius just has more of everything. In fact, you can even see the Colossi count here now. It's 5-4. to four. Uh, and yeah. got, there's another Colossus I'm about to pop out here for Genius. So. He's got 12 more probes. Nanawa just now starting that third Nexus. Genius getting that charge. His plus two's going to finish when Nanawa's plus two's starting. Uh, Nanawa needs like a, some sort of miracle move here, but his economy isn't big enough to even try to get one. He shouldn't have attacked up that ramp. Yeah, you know, that was a, that was a hard battle. 
He had a nice blink into the side to kill off a Colossus well, he very quickly. Probably should have actually just forced a cancel on that and then left. You know? That's that's true. Genius has proven throughout the series to be much more passive once you get into the part where you're actually just making mass colossi. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think this is a map that's unla unlike the other map that we had just casted on Cloud Kingdom. Uh -huh. This map a little bit harder to get them out of position. Yes, if they're being certain, passive for certain. Um, and you know when you're passive with uh, colossi based armies when it gets late game, I mean it's harder to screw up. It's when you're attacking that it's easy to screw up. You know? Yeah. You exactly. you attack into someone that just is sitting there spread, it's like, well, you better attack perfectly, huh? Well, he has charge about to finish, and it does finish right at the beginning of the battle. Genius trying to push forward with this Colossi advantage. His Zealots pushing forward, and Nanawa's in a lot of trouble this right is now. A lot of Protoss, everything for Genius. And, and, uh, oh man. Oh, this is it. The probe's coming up, and Nanawa knows it. He is dead. Yeah, there's Fly. no way he can recover from this. He's going to get pushed into this corner and probably tap out here. Mm -hmm. Wow, GG. GG. All right. Damn, intense. Indeed. Genius happy with himself there. It's tied up one to one at this point. This is the last game, Tasteless. Will Nanoa make the round of eight? Or will Genius make yet another round of eight? Well, we're going to see. Wow, this is such an even fight here. See Naniwa probably very, very frustrated with that last loss. Yeah, definitely, I would say. Uh, well, yeah, it is what it is. I don't know, man. Hopefully Naniwa can still take it. I really respect Naniwa. Of course. He trains hard. Mm -hmm. I wonder what this next map is. I'm very excited. I don't know. I mean, Naniwa might even be thinking, all right, what map do I actually want? What's my best PvP map? What is the map that Genius cannot stop me on? What is the map that Genius cannot trick me on? Well, we will see. Uh, what is the map that the fans want to see most? No! He's not thinking about that. He's not thinking about you guys. He's thinking about winning. He's thinking about money. He's thinking about fame. Well, He's thinking what, about being number one. That's what he needs to think about, yeah, man. Because that's what Genius is thinking about right now. Yeah, man. Uh, All right. We're getting some zoomed in shots of these players. I guess we know who needs Biori strips now. So, pretty much every gamer in the world. Probably you and me most of all, actually. <laughs> oh, we have to wear makeup all the time. I know. It's so hard being beautiful on TV. Yeah. I just bought a pair of makeup wipes, actually. Uh oh, Nanny Waz getting out of the booth. I think he might be taking a restroom break. Did they go to Genius's booth and Nanny Waz just choking him? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, oh, it's Ohana. All okay, right. he went to Ohana. He's going to take a quick little break, probably run to the restroom, do a number one, then come back here. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a map that, well, don't expect Blink Obs on, really. Not not that good for that. No. I mean, you can do it, but no. I don't... Uh, I don't know what I he's going to do. This is, this is really, in my eyes, a fast expansion map. Okay. Which means that we could get in that situation where it's fast expansion against the one Colossus 4-gate uh, that... You know, which always comes down to just a crazy micro war where it's like, all right, who can just out micro who? Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised to see that. I also would not be too, too surprised to see uh, Phoenix opening by either player. Oh, because, yeah, sure. Because uh, with those fast expansions, sometimes you can just get in there, lift up the sentries, and really mess them up. So, I don't know. I don't know either. Um, either way, I guess whoever moves on, I'm happy. We've had a lot of Protosses moving on in this tournament. Let's see... You know, it was amazing to see Squirtle fall. Um, well, that's a shocker. I don't yeah. know, but of course, MC moving move forward. And, uh, uh, hmm. Yeah. Right. Zerg's doing pretty well, too. Yeah, I would say so, man. Th still think Symbol's got this season? I think so. Beyond this being a surprise to me this season, how well, well he's Well, you know, he was playing... Um, he played really well yeah, he against did. Genius. And, uh, you know, I, I want to see how far he can actually make it. I could see him making a round of four, but a finals, not yet. Well, you know, it's hard to say because we haven't been able to cast a lot of his games because he hasn't been around, you know. Yeah. I mean, what if Young Hua was suddenly in Code S? be like, oh, my God, it's oh, Young Hua. It. Easily. Um, but then again, like, you know, he's not in Code S, but byung has been knocked out and then, well, got to Code S, then got knocked out for that uh, controversy, then made it back in. That's That says something. Yeah. Byung's probably going to be the dark horse, though. Dark Horse going in, you think? Yeah. Yeah. 
think so. Yeah, he's the dark horse of this tournament right now. Uh, I'm interested in tomorrow as well. Who's going to advance with Nest I I don't know. Maybe Nest just two Nest coming up to juggle uh, flaming swords and <laughs> advance in first place, of course. I mean, who else is in Nest group tomorrow? Well, DRG, Supernova, and um, Ter I can't think of the other. I can't think of it. Well, right the jet lag sitting us. We're going on to hour um, five here. But uh, well. It looks like Genius is actually rebooting his computer right now. Oh. Must be something wrong with it. Um, but yeah, I think it's, uh, it has to be like uh, DRG and ST, right? Has to be. Uh, I could see that. All right, so we are going to be rebooting here for Genius's PC. And then, uh, let's see, in that other group, it's like uh, Tasia and... Um, God, why is my brain like just not well, remembering these? It's probably I because you need to eat food pretty soon here. You're probably malnourished. You're probably very sleep deprived. I'm eh. Starcraft is what Whatever I eat. I'm like Protoss. When we get off camera, Artosis turns into a baby bird and he's like shaking around. Yeah. I'm like a, you know, Protoss like just take energy from like light and stuff. I don't know the Dark Templars stay alive, but like that's what I get from Starcraft. It just I need the Starcraft game to go in and while I'm out of game, I'm like <laughs> your life bar is depleting. Yeah. You're losing vitality. Uh, I think we're ready now. All right, uh, Nanny Waz is ready, and I believe the person who just uh, rebooted Genius's computer gave us confirmation that he is ready. The Genius is ready, that is. So we're going to go to Ohana, man. All right, Artosis. Yes. Let's bet. I want to bet a beer on Nanny Wa. You bet a beer on Genius. I wanted Nanwa, but okay. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's gamble. And then when I when Nanwa wins, I'm like, you're so stupid, Artosis. You're like, what, man? It was a friendly bet. Yeah, no, I feel like this is. I think I think this is going to come in down to one micro battle this game, and I think oh, Nanawa most is likely will. Take. That's the nature of PvP. All right, guys. Taste and Artosis jet lagged on hour five here at the GSL oh. Codex. Who will move on? Oh my God, well, we're going to worry about some something epic. Oh my God. And we have a pause, too. All right. Well, guys, here's what's going on. Um, hold on. All right, so this right. is actually... Everybody be cool. Or toast is talk. Okay. Genius paused. Uh, he did have to reboot his computer. I assume that the problem is the same. Now, let's see. Uh... Okay, if they leave the game exactly from now, no issue. Uh, if they try to unpause, hold a probe. yeah, Nanawa is doing something, some crazy cheese right now. Now, here's here's what the issue can be if someone does not look out for this. Uh, if they unpause to see if the thing is fixed, and a mining route goes, and then they pause again and then leave the game, uh, the score will be different for the two players, which should be exactly the same. And you can read into that or not read into that based upon how the probes are placed. Like, for instance, Genius's probes are in the bottom of his neck, so maybe one just got back quicker. But that's something that you have to watch out for. Well, if they're gonna have if to someone has to leave a game before okay, any this scouting's is a tense done. Naniwa, guys, let's let's talk about this for a minute, Artosis. Naniwa actually just pulled a probe, okay, like a second ago. You know we, what? We probably were not yeah. even going to intro the players. Uh, he pulled a probe. Naniwa probably in his booth thinking, oh, my God. The whole world knows I'm going to cheese. The whole, the whole world knows I'm going to cheese. Um, Should I be cheesing? Should I hope that well, we have also, to restart? Well, you know, yeah. What, what if we have to restart? Then do I cheese again? Uh, I have no idea what happened right. with Genius's computer. Guesses. What cheese? Is this cannons or is this zealots? I think it's zealots. You think it's zealots? I think so. I think... Um, actually, while we're talking about this, let's just mention again. We're going to be in Pusan. So if you come down here to the GSL... Can't wait. It's uh, going to be code awesome. Code S Finals. Don't look for them in Seoul. They're going to be in Pusan. And it looks like we're going to restart yep, the game. I don't know game what's right wrong now. with Genius's computer. But anyways, uh, come to Busan. If you are not familiar at all with Korea, Busan is the city. Uh, second the biggest city, city. Second biggest by like six or seven million yeah, it's, uh, people. It's the Seoul's film capital of Korea. Yes. It's the uh, beach capital of Korea. Yeah, it's got great beaches. No, yeah. actually, Jeju is. Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, islands, it's islands got great beaches, win. famous beaches. Uh there was a movie based on it called Hey Hyundai. It, which our voices were in. Yeah, we were voice actors. We were that. voice actors in that film. That and actually, cool. uh, it was know. the most expensive South Korean movie of all time. And yes. also one of their biggest flops of all time. Yes. And that's because we only had very small parts. They of the didn't give us the leads in the movie. That's right. They which should is have. too bad. We should have been the I two lead Korean actors. I think you can actually find actors. a YouTube video of us actually Probably. voice acting that. No, I'm serious. It's 
Somebody sent it to me a while ago. Oh, sick. I don't know what it's under, but if you listen I'll, carefully. Yeah, I don't know. We spent a good half a day doing voice acting. Yeah, we did. That. We each made like 70 bucks or something. 70 bucks that day. Yeah, that yeah. was nice. Starting up our little careers out here. Um, Artosis. How you doing, buddy? You still tired? Uh, I'm, I'm just like, excited I'm, for. I game think I'm not, I don't look that bad. Then I look at myself at the camera and I like see like these like bags under my eyes. <laughs> you look like. Uh, I'm like yeah, guys, I mean, get more it's like, get more smack for taste. It's like keep after these games. It's like after hour twelve of Husky casting at MLG, and you look at me like you need to sleep. Oh no, yeah, nobody looks more exhausted than Husky after a long day of casting. He actually looks like he might be like a dead person, and he's, <laughs> someone's got like a puppet thing going on controlling his face. I wish I could do the the DJ Wheat style where it's like he just DJ Wheat just does it get tired. Just a, we always say that it's like if we, everybody gets too exhausted, we're gonna put another quarter in the DJ Wheat machine and let him run it, for another hour. <laughs> That's all it is. A quarter He's the, the only one, too. His voice doesn't go out. Yeah. He doesn't look tired. I'll be like on hour seven of an MLG cast, and I, like, I'll look at him like and I'm so exhausted. And he's just like totally focused and with it. I don't know how that is. And then I'll be like, aren't you tired? I'll be like, yeah, I'm tired. He's like, yeah, I'm exhausted, man. And then he's like, me? time to cast. He's like, wow. <laughs> it's true, too. He'll be like, no, I'm so tired. I need to sleep like right now. And then he just looks completely focused in the camera the whole cast. I don't know how he does it. I don't either. I don't know. He's a superhuman. He's better than us, man. He's been casting a lot longer. He's older, man. Maybe when he's we're like what, like seventy or something <laughs> like that. I mean, DJ Wee. Yeah, he's actually gonna die pretty soon. I think so. I put his I put his name into death calculator and like it's said, uh, dude, 2013 is gonna be a sad year, man. <laughs> DJ Wee's out of here, man. Old age is Poor gonna guy. snap him up. Oh man, actually, he does age pretty wine. Pretty wine. Some people, you know, DJ. D DJ DJ You know what they say age is like wine while most people age like milk that's the, that's uh, right that's the nature You know what they it. say though tasteless DJ wheat don't crack All right <laughs> Um so after the reboot um he didn't quite uh he wasn't able to set up all his stuff I'm oh. being informed right now So he's so he's now received a warning that we're going to go into the rematch And uh I think that was actually John talking that in my John ear That was John the translator man John, John to the rescue again. John the translator. All right, we're in the game. We're in the game. So let's do it.